Coming to you from beautiful Wilkes County in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina, we invite you to the musical world of the Kruger Brothers. Sit back, relax, and welcome to the show with your hosts, the Kruger Brothers. Hey, here Whoa, we are. Here we are. <laughs> Uwe was uh, chasing me around trying only to find something that he thought might be a little different. You have you have a sound on both ears. Have you heard Yeah, I have heard. Yes, good, good. Hey, hello everybody. Here we are. It's Monday evening, and uh, unfortunately, Joel still doesn't feel up to playing, so uh, he's at home. And um, but so it's, it's not COVID related. And it's not COVID related. And it's going to so be over soon. Yeah, so yeah, don't yeah. worry about Joel too much. Yeah. he's okay. He's just staying at home. And we understand yeah. fully why. And he'll, he'll tell you himself what, what happened. Yeah, so. yeah it's mm -hmm. all good. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, so here we are. We're very happy, actually, you know, because we love playing as... Uh, as we had a great show on talk. Friday. That was we fun. Had, I loved it. It was absolutely fun. And so this is our first Monday show. We're going to try it out. And I think next Monday, we're going to be uh, together again, you know, with Jody and Joel, oh, it yeah. looks like, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, but we're going to try to try out these Monday shows. Yeah, yeah. See what happens. Yes. So... Um, <laughs> we made a little list like we did last week. We did, yes. We didn't keep to it, but uh, you know, let's let's just start it. Let's see if I can remember all those words. Of course, it's Monday, so. <laughs> but Friday was Friday the thirteenth, you know. So <laughs> we so like don't believe in these kind of things. Let me turn off. Turn, let me turn on the reverb. Yeah, right. Nice button. Do you see it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Trouble 
love and mind. The right button. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the one. That was a song that was one of the first Doc Watson albums we ever had, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this, I, I still love this song. It, it, it's just such a such a uh, such a great little mountain tune, you know. It really is. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think I would like to really do something Uwe, that we haven't done in a while. Uh, it's a little instrumental actually that that I I would like to play right now. It's called Miriam. Miriam. Yes, and, and oh. you have. Uh, yes, that means I have, to, I have to switch over. Yeah, we all have to switch to over. My, to my Anderson. Yeah, and, and I have to switch over to my uh, main banjo. <laughs> because I have a tuned down whole step. <laughs> It's hard to keep the guitar in tune when it's loose. Well, this is a tune that uh, we recorded on your uh, Days in the Field album, right? Yeah, it was my first solo album, actually, that we in did 1991. For that. Mm -hmm. You know, we started recording it. And we recorded it in, in our attic um, in the corner yes. with a <laughs> stereo microphone mm -hmm. and a DAT machine. I still, mm. in this closet over here, still have the original little <laughs> DAT tapes. Really? Yes. Oh, uh, we have to transfer those because it's got all the outtakes too, don't it? Everything. Oh my God. <laughs> but Miriam was written for your daughter, and uh, yes. So we're gonna dedicate it to Miriam if she has a chance to hear it. You know, it's got a beautiful little little part, a major part in there. Yeah, there's this part. <laughs> Which is based on a northern German folk song. Yeah. This is actually the melody. <laughs> and it stops on the third. Yeah. And, and you like to still do that. All I, the time. I always I do that all the but time. I change it up, of course. <laughs> Want to do it? Yes. Yeah, Let's see if we can still play it. Yeah, yeah.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the guitar sounds great. to use this for a blues one day. And you know what we drum for the whistle. That's that's a well, good blues. That would have been wait a second, if I play an A, what does that make it? Uh, G. G. That's too high for me to say in G. Yeah. <laughs> but if what? you play G on that it makes it F. Do you want to try it? Let's try it. I, I Gosh. Can, I can tune my I have my tune down badge. Do you have your tune down guitar? Wow. You want to try that? <laughs> What, you want to try that? Or uh, let's just try it. Engineer, reach up and pull the whistle. Let me hear that long. For it blends with the feeling that's in me The one I love has turned me down I'm gonna catch me a big old freight train Gonna ride it till the end of the line Don't know where I'm going or where I wander All I wanna do is get you off of my mind got out of tune well you know sometimes I start off the band just out of tune and then I play it so hard it's in tune <laughs> <laughs> <Rarely>. <laughs> how's it going Melissa going well 
How is everybody? Yeah, great. Fantastic. Do we have some people watching, actually? Yeah, we have some people watching. Uh -huh. We've got our Kruger family out there. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Super. Uh, have, have we told them that they can uh, maybe have suggestions if they want to hear a certain song or something? Maybe? I haven't yet, but uh -huh. folks, if you have a, a request... Mm -hmm. The request line is uh -huh. open. You can type it in the Let's comments see. Facebook and we'll Let's try to I'll relay it. <laughs> <laughs> Any ideas what we're going to play, Jens? Can you see the list? No, actually, I, I, why don't we do this if I was a carpenter? What? Yeah. Oh, that's... Um, okay, wh where did we do that? In C? Yes. So for all of you out there playing along... I know it's it's Bill Weir's birthday today, but he's out jamming with his friends in the Banner Elk. Wait, 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 wait. The button. Carpenter, and you were a lady, would you marry me anyway? Would you have my baby? Tinker was my trade. Would you still find me carrying the pots I made, following behind me? Share your love through loneliness, save your love through sorrow. I gave you my own.
That wasn't the first Johnny Cash record I ever had. You know that? No. Yes. Hello. I'm was Johnny. that the blue one where you could see him from the side? Mm-hmm. What is that? Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. wow. We got some requests. Actually, we do. You oh. see something that we can do, yes? Actually, I, I see something we could do, yes. Mm. Uh, let, me, let me adjust something. And... Um, <laughs> Jens is adjusting something. Uh oh, he had to go off the camera for it. Okay. You're gonna play guitar? Yes. Ah! I think I'm gonna play guitar. We, we had a, What's it gonna be? We had a request for Moon Over Switzerland. Oh, yeah, we had that for a while. Yes. Right? Mm hmm. It's worth tuning for this one. <laughs> what do you think? Yes? Yeah, I want to try it. Let's try it. Can you hear the guitar? Oh, yeah. The guitar. That's your Henderson. Yes. You can hear that through anything. I just discovered that I have a scratch in my Henderson and I don't know where it comes from. Hmm. Well, you know. Things happen. Yeah. I didn't touch it. Okay.
This is why you're my favorite guitar player. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, Jens gives me chills sometimes when he comes, you know, he sometimes just spends a night with a guitar on his lap and then he comes up with these beautiful melodies and, and things and I just hope that we can record more of those somehow, sometimes. Mm -hmm. We will. In the moment, in the moment, you know, I'm working, working on a version of the boxer for Adamo is a French a French singer. Uh, well, not just a French singer. He's like a French national treasure. He is, and, yeah. and uh, Stefan Eicher, he asked me, he does a, a project in Switzerland. And it's it's just, I think we, we have a nice, we're starting to have some nice music with him. So it's, yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, you're going to record some guitar over it tomorrow, maybe. Yes, you <laughs> do. Tomorrow morning, that's your turn. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to sleep tonight. No, no, no. <laughs> what do you want to play us? I don't know. Do, I we have, do we have any more requests? No, actually, we do. Uh, we got a few more to add to the list. Uh, watch the clouds. We have Moon of Switzerland. Wind in the Weed, we had a request. And oh, let me sing one first. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, watch the clouds roll by, we had a request. Mm -hmm. But we have, have you ever done it in a duo on a version? Probably about a half a year ago. Yeah. Want to try it? Well, I don't know. We just played it not yeah. too long ago in a show, and mm -hmm. I think I'm. You know, it's it's the funniest thing. There's an intro, for for Watch the Clouds Roll By, yeah. and I have to retune the banjo in double C tuning in order to play Watch the Clouds Roll By. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, but we're we're standing. You know, I mean, there's a there's a. I'm telling you something. It's, it's it's like a ritual. You know, for years and years and years. You know, when we when we were on the road with with Joe. You know, playing. You know thousands and thousands of shows really you know in, in the last you know 20 years yeah in america just in america traveling you know, and <laughs> we would stand behind the curtain you know so many hundreds and hundreds of times stand behind the curtain and somebody's announcing us and we have to get ready and we have to wait and uh, then they say finally the kruger brothers and everybody starts clapping and then you walk out and so mm -hmm. this is a, a just original so we're back there mm -hmm. we usually sits on a chair back there yeah. and we sit there and we're getting ready, Joel standing there, and you know, he doesn't have a bass in his hand because usually the bass is on stage. Yeah, so know, he doesn't detune. The doesn't detune, you know, mm -hmm. so, so, and sometimes, but I always have my banjo with me, mm -hmm. and then uh, there's this intro for Watch the Clouds Roll Okay, by. let's dedicate this to Joel. And then, you know, so, 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 so I play the intro that's actually supposed to be in C tuning, and I play it. Mm -hmm. uh, how does it go? Ridiculous, right? Well, it actually sounds like a real famous banjo player we all know. <laughs> but it's it's interesting because we've done this for years, and then I always go like. <laughs> and, it's, and it pulls us right behind that curtain yeah, right? yeah, every time yeah, I play this. It's like yes, we're behind the curtain waiting to get on stage. Anyway, so want to do it? Why not? Well, I think we should. You know, we, we said people could write in. So the fingering is exactly what I just played. <laughs> Shift as the 
standard at the old night cafe She takes off her apron and calls it a day I'll see you tomorrow, it's time to go home she Steps out the back door On a Tuesday night in the middle of June She stops by the roadside to gaze at the moon Here's up in the distance, a whipper will cry Watches the clouds roll are covered with things that he draws while the teacher expounds about natural laws he's trying to wipe up all the blue on his hand from the ink of the pen that he broke in the last 30 minutes the words that were said never quite seemed to make it inside of his head so he looks out the window and he lets his dream fly watches the clouds roll by A nice request. Actually, that, that worked um, out. That worked yeah. out well, you know. Um, mm-hmm. You know, that, but then the other way around is, is fun too. <laughs> you know, sometimes we go out and the first tune is in double C tuning. And then if I do this behind the stage, it wouldn't be fun because it sounds right, <laughs> yes. you know. So I do. Fucking mountain breakdown like that. <laughs> or Battle of Jack Clamper. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, don't do it. Lots of no. rope is the best. <laughs> I think we lost. We lost the last. I think we lost the right. last listener. Yes, yeah. I know. No, 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 they're enjoying that. No, no, I mean, <laughs> Is, you know, when we when we when we're backstage, you know, we're waiting to get on, and and then you just go. <laughs> <laughs> it's very quiet, you know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
See what I have to put up with all the time? Oh, this is amazing. Cool. Sometimes Joel would come and say, hey, play it, Jens. Hey, Jens, play it. Yeah. Anyway, I, was actually, mm -hmm. actually it started to sound like a real tune after years yeah. of listening to it. Mm -hmm. It sounds right. It does. I know. This, this, not really. Mm -hmm. But, you know, anyway. Melissa, what is it now? Which, 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 yes. Happy birthday, Bill. Yes. <laughs> These are these are requests that we actually, you know what? We're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna play most of these requests. <laughs> we will. <laughs> yes, we will. Water of love is well, a request, I, but it sounds so much better with Joel and I, Jody. I, yeah, it really does. You know, one more train to ride also with Jody. Yeah, really, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we're gonna do that next Monday. Yes. Promise, yes. promise, promise, promise. We're gonna keep this these pieces of paper and lamp like. Why did you put them on the floor? I can't so read them, so... Well. I wrote them pretty big. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, well, it's it's written very big. I can't hardly... It's like, okay, lamplighting time in the valley. Lamplighting time in the valley was a thing that... It was, uh, there was a... This poem was read, you know, every evening before the radio station would shut down. In Here Wilkesboro. in Wilkesboro, yeah. In Wilkesboro. And then Robert said, that would make a nice little tune. And so we made some music, and Joel read the poem mm -hmm. that was lamplighting time in the valley yeah. and maybe one day we can do it mm -hmm. you know uh, joel could read it and we could play some music yes that would be actually nice joel, it was like our, a our favorite thespian i like that and, and you told it, yeah it was nice actually uh, and then dina and dina we have to play with joel because dina is joel's mother so um I'm sorry, but I'd be going to play all of these next Monday. Right. No, is that right? Actually, we have, you know, uh, yeah, we could do a claw hammer tune. How about that? Yeah, absolutely. That? Claw hammer tunes, I love claw hammer tunes. No, How's your nail doing? Is? My nail, yes. Cumberland Gap, Cumberland right? Gap, yeah. Old time Cumberland Gap. It's not right about old time Cumberland Gap. It's just sort of Cumberland Gap. This this but, idea but, of but going to the to the six, you know, in the in the in the. It's like this that da 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 da. da, da that interval. That's what it's about, you know. It's gone from the one and then to the six, but the sixth note could also incorporate it in the four chord yeah. or in the six minor. So we do both. Yes, ah, that's gonna be fun. <laughs>
Cumberland Gap. Woo! Oh, Jens, you know what, what I just had, what just came to my mind is, you know, last weekend was the Frutigen Country Festival up in the Bernese Mountains. Uh -huh. And Mark sent me a picture of Jim Lauderdale, who was up there. Ah, and in Stad or was No, 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 in Frutigen. Frutigen. Yes. And Jim was playing my guitar, <laughs> that D18 that I sold to Mark. And then I remembered that that's where we met Jim Lauderdale, in Frutigen. Why was he playing your guitar? I don't know. I just got a picture of of uh, of Jim playing playing that D18. But then I remembered, you know, when when we met Jim up there and we had a good time together. Did a workshop with him, and uh, and then he, he he told us to to go to America. He said, "You you you need to go to America and play your music in America." We played with the Bond Orchestra, right? And Jim then, Lauderdale, he was from uh, Russia. Uh, uh, he uh, was uh, from uh, Russia, uh, and he said, "You boys had to go to America." Well. The that, that but in, in, in 1997, I got out of the car at Merlefest behind the stage, and there was Jim Lauderdale, and, and he looked at me and said, Uwe, you made it. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is a good omen for, for Mark, what do you think? I mean, you know, you meet Lauderdale in Frutigen, and 10 years later... That's actually a thread. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I miss a lot of our friends that, that we made over the years. You know, we always bumped into at festivals and stuff like that. Yeah, that's sometimes, tonight it's especially hard, it, it seems to me. I can't keep my mind on the music. There's too many people floating around in my head. Mm -hmm. I, I have so many thoughts of friends that I, that, I, that I used to see or, you know, or looking forward to see again. Or, mm -hmm. And it's just hard, you know. Sometimes, you know, I want to play. But then I play the first notes, I start thinking about people and... But you should listen to me, you know. I know. But you know, at one point, we're going to change this around again because I need to sit on that side. You know, on stage, I always sit on that side. But I can't sit on that side. Well, but when we have a different <laughs> arrangement. Because, because I always have to look at my banjo because the banjo neck's so long. You know, if, I wanna, if I'm playing here, I want to go up here, I have to look here. And then I can... T t but when I look at you, I, I will not go. I'm going to do this. And I wonder why, 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 why. And I, you know, so... I'm so isolated. I'm looking, you know, always mm -hmm. to the side. And but you can see Melissa. No, I don't even see Melissa. Melissa <laughs> is, is on that side. And Melissa is too far away, and I don't wear glasses. Uh, she could be also. He can't see that piece it of paper on the floor. He sure as heck can't <laughs> see me. <laughs> what, what do you want to play? What do you think? Why don't we play a bluegrass tune? We want to play old home plays? Oh. You want to do that? That's yeah. This, you know, I just looked up a few a few friends of ours in, in Europe. Um, a good friend of mine, Lodi uh, Van Vlodrop, that's his name, Lodi Van Vlodrop. He started playing banjo uh, late 60s. You know, he listened to the Beverly Hillbillies and uh, listened to a radio program. And he's got a brother, his name is Paul. Now, Paul plays mandolin. Lodi used to play banjo and started then early on, early in the 70s, started playing fiddle playing the band called the Country Ramblers and they did some recordings in the early 70s I mean when we just barely started you know playing they already recorded albums and sounded so good actually I, I they, was, al they also were on tour with Byron right they were on tour with Byron with Bill Harrell you know mm -hmm. with all kinds of people and mm -hmm. and so they, these were phenomenal musicians and Paul is still playing uh, Lodi unfortunately did not but mm -hmm. but Paul is still playing I just saw him playing mandolin mm -hmm. a thing with where he did with uh, the red wine and you know uh, uh, mandolin, uh, uh, phenomenal stuff. I mean, I'm just I'm just amazed, you know, how how good these people are, and mm -hmm. they just keep on playing. Well, the last time we played with them was in Lodi's uh, bed, uh, Lodi's, Lodi's living, living room. And nice people, actually, really, actually, no, they are really nice people. And one of these songs that we make it, get together, you know, is some bluegrass standards, mm -hmm. and, and of course everybody plays the old old ways. And then we more or less try to play original, but then we don't, you know, we just sort of... I just, just talked I, about Prince. You I just, just said, uh, Prince, you know, when he played Eric Clapton tribute, or what was that? Yeah. He didn't care about what Clapton played. He <laughs> just played what he bought. It was, was well, good. Uh, on, the, on the Why My Guitar Gently Weeps. Yeah, <laughs> so he just played his version. Oh, yeah. And I think that's that's really cool. Uh. So, but, but here is yeah. this... Um, Let's try this. Yes, yeah. see.
It's been ten long years since I left my home In a holler where I was born Where the cool frog nights make wood smoke rise From the fox hunter blows his horn Oh, I fell in love with the girl from the town She promised that she would be true I ran away to Charlottesville and worked in a sawmill or two. What have they done to the old old place? Why did they tear it down? And why did I leave the plow and the field and look for a job in the town? No, you know, there's, there's no chance. When you're a guitar player, you have no chance. No chance against what? Against Tony Rice. Oh. When he recorded this, you know, this well, is... Well, this is, I mean, J.D. Crow played the band. Yeah. 19, I think in 1973 they recorded it on this. This is just something like crazy. That. Really. It was really good. Mm -hmm. Well, it still is. Oh, yeah. But it's a, it's a good song. It's a great song, I think. Yeah, I like the song about did, losing... Did, losing. Did, did we record this on, 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 I can't uh, even on Rocky Road? That could be. I think we recorded it mm -hmm. on our first album that we did for CBS <laughs> yeah, in 1981. Or 82. 81 or 82. 81. Yeah. It was 81. It was 1981. <laughs> 40 years ago with Tony Galfano and Danny, Danny, Danny Galfano from Long Island. You know, there was a man, his name was Steve James. It's Steve James Stress, right? Mm -hmm. And... Steve was a fiddle player, a violin player, and a guitarist, and he played anything, everything really well. And um, he, he was, was a, he was a sarod player first of all. Yeah, he was an Indian sarod player. But so he had a girlfriend, Sharon was her name, and mm -hmm. they came to Europe and they had a bass player called Klopfenstein. Jim. Jim Klopfenstein. They played bass, you know, on the streets. They played in Europe, and then they decided to come back to Europe, and Klopfenstein decided to stay. Anyway, Klopfenstein and found another job in another band, and when they came back, they didn't have a bass player. So Steve got really, really upset, and uh, so he wanted to really hurt Klopfenstein, but, you know, so Klopfenstein was always hiding from him on, <laughs> on, on the streets. And Steve, you know, we we played in, we were playing on the streets, Uwe and me, in Munich, and all of a sudden we see this band play, and they have a bass player, and he was standing at the bass like, <laughs> and and a woman singing, Sharon Steve playing fiddle, and Tony Galfano was a drummer actually by trade, but it was Danny's brother who played the bass, and he played a tenor banjo. 
Anyway, so we didn't have a bass player. So when they were done with their set, you know, a few hundred yards down the street, you know, in, in the Fußgänger zone in Munich, I went up to Danny, I said, you know, the bass player, I said, hey, uh, would you play a set with us? You know, you could make some extra money. And he said, oh, I have to check, you know, with Steve, you know, if that's okay, you know, this guy over here. And because he was a real <laughs> patriarchic, you know. So, so <laughs> that's, that's put it really nice. Yeah, so, and so then I, uh, so Danny said, sure, you know, I'll play with you guys. So, <laughs> so we, what are you playing? He said, bluegrass. So, okay, good. So I took Danny and we went over to the Marienplatz. And there, we, you know, as soon as you unpack and you have a bass fiddle, you have more people because bass sounds like you're an official band or something, you know. <laughs> And um, and then go like boom boom you can really hear the bass, but then it turns out Danny didn't know any of the songs. <laughs> Danny sort of just stood there because he just learned. He no, just started see, playing it, bass. See, the thing was that he was supposed to be the driver for this whole unit when they came over and, and went back on tour, and so <laughs> there was no they, they had no bass player, so they just gave Danny the bass. And he just had to start pl playing. And, and he, he never, had he never, never played an instrument before. And so when we met yeah. him, he had his bass in his hand about two weeks or something. Yeah. And he, he went through intensive training with Steve <laughs> Stress, who was a very impatient, patriarchic, choleric, music, choleric <laughs> musical genius <laughs> yes. kind of guy, right? And so he was beating everybody with his violin stick. <laughs> and he had to do... And Danny was in fear of him. So, um, so Danny and Tony... They became our friends, you know, Danny and Tony, mm -hmm. they're, they're two brothers. They were Italian, you know, Galfano, you can imagine. They're from West Islip, Long Island. Mm -hmm. And uh, I later got to meet their family you know, oh, live yeah. and stay with them. But D Danny and Tony became great friends. And w all of a sudden, you know, we, Danny could play bass fairly quickly. Oh, yeah. If you play every day for eight or ten hours bass, he had tape everywhere and bleeding and blisters. You remember, you know? And so, and Tony picked up the mandolin. And Tony is a musical... I, he lived in Chapel yeah. Hill, and, yeah. and, and he used to be a you know really good drummer, mm -hmm. uh, and he worked. But then he, in the speed, he picked up the mandolin. It and was could amazing play. to see. It was amazing to see. He yes. was like a sponge, and he loved David Grisman, and he could learn all these tunes. And he played day and night. And we then we formed this band with the two brothers because they were kind-hearted, yeah. good people. And uh, so with Danny on bass and and uh, Tony on mandolin, Uwe on guitar, and me on the banjo, and we played on the streets, and we instantly had a CBS record yes. contract. It was know? great. It was. We played so, stuff so. like. Too fast, everything. <laughs> everything too fast. Everything too fast, you know. Yeah, anyway. I think I have a fruit fly in my ear. Is it? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We have fruit flies around here. Have you noticed that? Fruit flies. We have. Maybe I just have them around my head. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Jens, we should play something. I know, I know, honestly. I'm sorry. You, yes, you, you just, just play. Just talk, I, just talk, I know, I just wanted to tell the story of Danny and Tony Galvano. Well, uh, Danny, Danny's now, he's ha he has a, a chauffeur limo business up in New York. Yeah. And he's driving around really famous people sometimes, you know. And, and Tony uh, is, I think, uh, retired and he lives in Chapel Hill with, with Trish. And we always play the yeah. community, College. community uh, 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 church. Church, exactly. In, in Chapel Hill and he organized this concert. Yeah. For many, many years. We're going to be playing there again. Yeah, you know, in December. In December. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be great. Be wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> he actually wrote me the other day. Yeah. So anyway, what, what, what could we play? We don't have much time left anymore. Really? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I had somebody write me and say, you chatted a lot last time. Now, today is going to be even worse. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And, uh, I, and before we stop, I want to thank you for your donations. You gave us really, you helped us and... You still help us. I really, really appreciate it uh, because we have to get through this somehow, you know. Yes. You see, we're getting less and less and less and... Not know. me. No, no, and... No, no, getting less and less. Yeah. You know, Joel's not, Joel's not in the, you know, Joel's not here so much anymore mm -hmm. and um, Melissa's leaving. Yeah. We're just back 
back to a duo, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which we, ha we haven't been since 1979 on the streets. No, no, we have not. Yeah. So, but, we'll here, but, but here we yeah. are. But your, your donations have really kept us alive over the last year and a yes, half now, absolutely. almost, right? Yes. And it's, it's just uh, crazy to, to think about how, uh, how, how much you, you helped us. Because yes. I know a lot of musicians, a lot of our friends, they, they're not where we are. No, you know, no, never. And uh, and w yeah. even though they would be just as deserving sometimes, yes. I think you know. And it's not quite. No. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm sorry, man. I just, you know, we're gonna be at Fletcher in the, in the church playing a concert on Saturday mm -hmm. with Joel and Jody. Yes, and Peabody. And Peabody. Yes. And then we're gonna have also on Sunday we're gonna have uh, the last cook show uh -huh. for now because Melissa's leaving and we, we can't film it anymore because Melissa's not around. So we have to quit the cook show for a while. Um, so we call this one is the, like the Last Supper. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna cook, um, and then on Monday, of course, again, you know, we do we do the cook, the, the live stream, and maybe uh, uh, Melissa can come and still you know do that in the evening now on Monday. Um, that would be fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna get me a sack of flour. Or do we'll do, we'll do the whole thing. Let's do the whole thing. Flour, make a whole cake every hour. Keep that skillet good and greasy all the time, time, time. Keep that skillet good and greasy all the time. Got some bloodhounds on my track, got some chickens in my sack. Sitting by the greasy all the time, time, time. Keep that skillet good and greasy all the time. Now, if they beat me to the door, Gonna set them under the floor Keep that skillet good and greasy All the time, time, time Keep that skillet good and greasy All the time After the first verse, I want to end it because we only play the beginning, you know, in the cook show. It's it's so it's into my ears. Yeah, 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 yeah. I sit that? on that front porch and walk through that kitchen door through all four seasons. Yes. I <laughs> yeah, through all four seasons. Mm -hmm. Yes. The what beginning. Part? In the all winter. All four seasons. I've froze to death. I've yeah. burned up. <laughs> I've been in the rain. I've been in. Are the you wind. exaggerating a little bit? They I work me like up. a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, it's like it's like I burned up. I freeze. They to were death. sitting in the house. Uh, it's not. It's not. It's not exaggerating yeah. any, is it? <laughs> but but I remember when we when we used to do this. Um, there was this girl named Mandy. She was down at the at the farmers market. We, right, we yeah. did this song, <laughs> and she turned as red as a tomato after I sang that yeah, verse. I know. It was crazy. And, actually and, and, then, and then Brenda Brenda said, "Have you ever had a whole cake?" And I said, "No, I have no idea what it is." And so mm. she baked me one. Yeah. It was wonderful. I ate it all by myself. But that verse, the <laughs> the, 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 the the keeper drunk and boozy, yeah, yeah. we got some grief for that verse. Oh yeah. And then we said, well, we just learned it from an album. Well, you know, it's yeah. not ours. It's the original, original. The, it's your folk music. <laughs> 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 anyway, no, yes. this is fun. Is it, it's time to end. Yeah, or yeah, really? yeah. Let's, let's do one um, more, Ian's. Yeah, let's do one more. You want to... Something a little bit nicer than this. You want to do Indian Summer? Yes. Indian you think Summer so? would be wonderful, yes. I think so. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much for tuning in to this, uh, to this rainy Monday. 
This has been so rainy here and the humidity is so high that the banjo bridge is like a sponge. Like a sponge. It, it turns the banjo sound into something very different. It goes doop, doop. Sounds wonderful here. Indian Summer is, is one of those things that we we recorded that on our first album with the Bon Orchestra, didn't we? No, never. That was that was on that was one of the tunes for Days in the Field. Okay. Yes, that's right. Thank you all so much. <laughs> we'll see you next Monday and on Sunday, of course. And have a Thank good week. Have a good week. Have a good week. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Broadcasting from Double Time Recording Studio in Wilkes County, North Carolina. Thank you for watching and all your continued support. 
Please make sure and comment on how much you enjoyed the show and share it with your friends. Join us next time for another edition of The Musical World of the Kruger Brothers. 